In this last lecture, I gave an introduction to this subject called Material Science and Engineering and I told you that Material Science consists of two components that is structure and properties and Materials Engineering contains two components that is processing and performance, right? So we will see broadly what are these four components basically. So if we talk about the material structure, what does it mean? It usually refers to the arrangement of its internal components clear so material structure basically refers to the arrangement of its internal components how the things are present internally and if you talk about the different types of structure we have on the broader sense we have macroscopic structure where the structural ele elements which can be viewed with the naked eye so whatever the structure that you can see with the naked eye so that structure is called your macroscopic structure fine now if you go further below then in that case you'll be having a microscopic structure so how atoms combine to form the molecules we use and we used to see using a microscope so further in a broader sense we have a structure called macroscopic structure where the structural elements that can be viewed with the naked eye if we scale down then we get a microscopic structure in this microscopic structure or microstructure we see how atoms combine to form molecules and it is observed using a microstructure then further if you scale down you'll get a subatomic structure which relates to the electrons their configuration and their interactions with their nuclei so broadly speaking your structure you can classify in the three categories first type of structure you have macroscopic structure then you have microscopic structure and then you have subatomic structure clear another component that we have is property so property is a material trait in terms of the kind and magnitude of the response to a specific imposed stimuli right so this is a standard definition of a property so whenever you find this word property you can define this word property as a property is a material trait in terms of the kind and magnitude of the response to a specific imposed stimuli and it is solely due to the regularity in the arrangement of atoms and the type of bond between them so what is the reason for this property so this property is only due to the regularity in the arrangement of atoms because you know that when the atoms are arranged it's quite natural that they are regular sometimes so what is that pattern okay so what is that regularity in the arrangement of the atoms and what type of bonding they are having between them so it, due to these two this property exists we have different types of properties first property we have mechanical property which relate to the deformation due to an applied force just like we have strength ductility etc then pr uh, second property we have is electrical property just like conductivity or dielectric constant then we have thermal property which is example is heat capacity or thermal conductivity another property we have is magnetic property which is a response of a material when kept in a magnetic field then we have optical property example your refractivity reflectivity or transmissibility then we have deteriorative property which refers to the chemical reactivity of materials i hope this component of your material science is clear to you which is property what is property a property is a material trait or characteristic in terms of the kind and magnitude of the response to a specific imposed stimuli it is only due to the regularity in the arrangement of atoms and the type of bonding and we have the different types of properties which is mechanical electrical thermal magnetic optical deteriorative another component of materials engineering that we talked about is processing and performance so what is this processing and performance the structure of a material depends on how is it processed so processing actually depends on the structure of the materials so if you change the structure the processing will also get changed fine so your processing is directly linked to the structure of the material and a materials performance is a function of its properties so the properties we have different functions so materials perform and you can improve or you can upgrade the performance of a material by changing by the change in the function of the properties okay so this is the very big branch of your engineering which is material science and engineering i told you it it could be broadly classified under two categories which is material science and materials engineering material science consists of structure and properties and materials engineering consists of processing and performance i hope this 
uh, subject that is the broader topic of this subject is clear to you moreover the components of these that is four components of the subject that is structure properties performance and processing is also clear to you fine see you in the next lecture till then bye